So I got into cricket through my father, his love and passion for the game, his enthusiasm, his knowledge about the game rubbed off, rubbed off on me and my two older brothers. Um, so yeah, we were sort of brought up living and breathing cricket. Captaining the county side was an incredible achievement and something that I look back on very, very fondly. Um, having some of the girls in the side that were so, so talented um, who have gone on now to bigger and better things is wonderful and I sort of feel proud that I sort of was part of that nurturing process. Um, it was, yeah, a huge achievement and having the treble uh, promotion in one year was also pretty amazing. To be in the first intake of the academy was, again, was a huge, a huge highlight in my career. It was nerve-wracking being the only female. There were a lot of questions asked. Um, what would I bring to Derbyshire? I'm not going to offer anything to the men's side. Um, so there was a lot of that to deal with, but I think it made me a tougher character and that you just have to take it on the chin and go, yeah, fine, that's what you think. But I knew I was there because I was good enough, male or female, it shouldn't have mattered. Um, and it didn't, and I made some very good friends through that academy intake who I have contact with now. Um, and yeah, very, very proud of myself. So my proudest moment, that is a hard question. Um, winning the Walter Lawrence Trophy for the highest individual score in the women's county year of 177 not out which was uh, that was amazing to go to Lords uh, with my dad and be presented um, with the trophy there was very special representing Western Australia in their state competition playing at the Gabba uh, representing England under 21s um, playing for my county for a, a numerous amount of years and having lots of success um, that's a tough question and I'm not sure I could single any of them out. 